What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than after kill, and I'm back here on Destiny, live in the tower, and it's Friday, and we all know what Friday means on my motherfucking channel, right? <laughs> That's right. It's time for another visit from Jur, the agent of the nine. He is the rare NPC that shows up in a tower once every week in random locations, and he brings with him a backpack full of exotic weaponry that you can trade for strange coins that you found out in the wild. And this week, we actually have quite a bit of strange coins and mode of light because I started a new character, and I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce you to my new hunters later on. But uh, right now. We're gonna be... Why do I only have one... Oh, yeah, that's right, because I, I upgraded an exotic. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and see what old... Wow, he's a, he's a popular motherfucker. Look at him. He's all up down here in a nightclub, just chilling, and there's like 30 motherfuckers rapping all around him. He's got to have something good. Let me, let me see that Gallahorn or Icebreaker, baby. Let's see what he's got. Oh! <laughs> Ka-chow! Oh, that, that should have just been a ka-chow! There we go. We're just gonna go ahead and buy that right away. This is pretty much a badass... Look at that thing. Oh, man, that is old-school bomber-inspired, too, with the old shark face on there. And I, I do know that there is a flamethrower inside of Halo back in the day that had this uh, whole style there. So Bungie seems to be a big fan of, like, old fighter. Look at that little... I like that little handle on there. I don't know how that's going to be when you're actually out in the wild and see that handle on top of your gun. That might be a little bit annoying, but, you know, just seeing the shark face on the front of your goddamn rocket launcher is amazing. So, what does the Dragon's Breath rocket launcher does? Why, why did I buy this right away? Well, this is basically like if you took a Gallahorn and you mixed it with the solar grenades from the uh, Warlock. So, go ahead and check this out. This launcher's tube can hold three shells. All right. All right, it's basically, basically Field Scout right there. Then we go over here, Pyromancer. Rounds fired upon this weapon leave a solar flare upon detonation. This basically leaves that Warlock solar uh, grenade laying all over the place. So uh, that's probably why they fixed that Templar cheese. They're like, man, we've really got this rocket launcher we want to bring out. And they're like, well, uh, people are using that grenade already to cheese fucking bosses. And Bungie's like... God damn it, guys. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and see what else this has. Quick draw, javelin, and heavy payload. I'll probably go with the uh, the quick draw, just because I like to whip it out a little bit faster. Although, if you take a look at that, that velocity there, that brings it up quite a bit. So, uh, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to synergize well with these other stats. Look, bring that up, you get the blast radius up, velocity, you lose a lot of stability there. Uh, I'd probably just go with... Uh, Yep, we're, we're, I'll probably just go with the velocity just because it gives you a larger bonus and, you know, faster rockets, faster deaths, right? That's a, pretty much sees how it goes. Thank you, dick face! I would suck all your dicks right now, but I'm just not that into sucking dicks. Look at, look at that. It's just fucking gross. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and see exactly what else he's selling. So, for those of you guys that are new to the game, these are telemetries. These will help you level up your weapons just a little bit faster. However, if you equip your weapons before you turn in your bounties, you will get all those XP from the bounties towards whatever gear and weapons that you have equipped in your slots at that time. So, that could make these just a little bit, I guess, uh, obsolete. <laughs> I don't know exactly how much these help because I've never bought one because I've never had a problem leveling up weapons. I just kind of equip the gun that I want to level up and just fuck shit up for the next day or two and I, I gain my levels. <laughs> so these are plasma drive upgrades for your sparrows. These will turn a blue rarity sparrow into a legendary rarity sparrow. So if you're one of those people out there that don't have the Dark Below DLC and you do not have this amazing Tumblr stunt. Ooh, look at that. Mac, how come you didn't tell us about that? <laughs> that's a, that happened the other day, actually. Uh, we beat Avion on hard mode and that's all I got. Bungie! Motherfucker. <laughs> so, if you don't have the Tumblr from the uh, Dark Below DLC, then uh, you can probably upgrade your Blue Sparrow into a Legendary from here. But, honestly, I, I would probably just wait until you get the Time Breaker or, uh, you know, possibly that DLC. I, I don't know exactly how much longer you have 
to uh, buy the Dark Below DLC to get the Tumblr. I do know that it was only available till January, but I'm pretty sure it was sometime in mid-January. So those of you guys don't have the Dark Below DLC, you probably want to get before that so you get a Tumblr that makes you fucking spin around and do flips in the air. It's awesome. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what upgrades he has for exotics. These are the Galahorn, the Thunderlord, Patience in Time, Pocket Infinity, Universal Remote, and the last word. He also has the Knuckleheart Radar, the uh, Aquilophage Symbiote, Crest of Alpha Lupe, and uh, the Armamentarium, Apothesis Veil, and the Heart of Praxic Fire, which I'm pretty sure Zhur will never sell because it's OP as fuck. <laughs> when you get this, if you have a shit ton of discipline, and you have this, and you have a... Uh, what do you call that? Radiance active as a Sunsinger Warlock. You can pretty much, as soon as you throw your grenade, your other grenade's cooldown is just ready to go. Just pow, 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 pow. And it's uh, these type of grenades, the solar grenades. So it's pretty awesome to see that thing just go crazy. <laughs> we we knocked Fogoth off the edge one time with uh, a Heart of Praxic Fire Warlock. It was actually pretty fucking awesome. So what these are are basically upgrades to old exotics that you have laying around from before the Dark Below DLC. And if you go ahead and equip that exotic in your slot and you give one exotic shard and some glimmer, you will be able to upgrade your uh, gear. And that's how we got this G-Horn last week, baby. We didn't get to do that on a uh, camera because PSN was down and I had to do this video from the Xbox. But uh, there we go. There's my upgraded G-Horn. Oh, man. This fucking, this, that is an amazing looking rocket launch. Now, I, I'm not even going to lie though, if you don't have a G-Horn, get yourself a Dragon's Breath. Look at that thing. How can you pass that up? If you have Strange Coins this week and you do not buy this, you are probably going to be regretting that for like the next two, three weeks. You're going to see everybody putting up guys you're like, oh, well, you know, if you just use a Dragon's Breath rocket launcher, you probably, everybody should probably have it because you're sold it, right? And you're going to be like, but I didn't buy the Dragon's Breath Dragon Launcher. I'm going to be like, well, you, you should have bought the Dragon's Breath Dragon I fucking told you! <laughs> uh, let's, let's hurry this up, though, because I got to take a shit. <laughs> He's got dicks coming out of his face. I got a turd coming out of my butt. <laughs> so, he also sells exotic shards for seven strange coins. So, if you go ahead and get to the end of your uh, tree here, fully maxed out, the last upgrade will take an exotic shard to uh, fully max out at 331. Let me tell you, that 331 icebreaker, oh, oh baby, that thing just, <laughs> just fucks shit up everywhere. Just heads popping. Pop, 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 pop. It's like Jiffy Pops commercial. And we also have a uh, exotic engram here. Let's, let's go ahead and buy this. Fuck it. Motes of light aren't really worth anything very well, so I'm gonna buy one of those. Let's buy another one. Fuck it. We'll go ahead and decode these two. Fuck having poop come out of your butt. We'll shit our pants for this episode, baby. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what else he's got for sale for the uh, Warlock. He has the Starfire Protocol, which is actually new. Something that we haven't seen before. This is from the brand new DLC. It says... 13.4 billion years ago, the first stars kindled out of darkness, seen in the future of all life. This has 36 light, 144, and 140, 155 on the upside. That is a hell of a lot of intellect right there. Although, like I said earlier before, you, you want that discipline, baby. You don't want to rack the discipline. <laughs> discipline come from within and hard of cracks and fire. So uh, what else do we got? Gain additional fusion grenade, carry more ammo for fusion rifles, and carry more ammo for heavy weapons. Now, this seems like something that would be really cool for PvP, especially since I'm pretty sure the Warlock already has a, uh, a skill that gives him an extra grenade. So does this allow you to have three grenades? What? <laughs> and it also allows you to carry more ammo for heavy weapons. So if you're the type of person that likes to go into PvP and shoot people with rockets, you're a scumbag. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. We've all got that bounty before, and it's it's a pain in the ass that day when those bounties are up in the Crucible. Actually, you know, it's a pain in the ass every day that the Crucible is going on. So what else do we have here for the uh, Hunter? We have the Don't Touch Me Gauntlets. <laughs> Those of you guys out there that were always like, Hey, Mac, fucking, I got the Don't Touch Me Gauntlets. Are you jealous? No, not really. Want to know why? 
because I do too. <laughs> now the only reason why I'm buying that is I am actually a chess piece or helmet away from picking up a, what do you call that? A uh, level 32. So what I need is, is to keep as much exotic gear around as I can. That way in case I get a helmet or a chess piece, I might have to swap out for maybe a different uh, exotic that I have right now. Just to hit level 32. As much as I don't want to lose that additional golden gunshot. Just being level 32 would allow me to fuck some shit up a lot easier in the raids. So uh, let's go ahead and check out what he's got for the Titans. He's got another DLC. This is all DLC day. I, I feel sorry for you guys that don't have the DLC. <laughs> you know, if you're having DLC problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems and the dark below ain't one. Let's see what he's got here. Uh, carry more ammo for heavy weapons. Increases duration of... Bungie! <laughs> Let, let's have a talk. Come here. Come here, Bungie. Come here. Motherfucker, you gotta fucking increase the duration of the fucking shoulder charge! <laughs> like, seriously! That, is so, that shit just fucks me up so bad in PvP. I just come around the corner and the fucking Titan is just hauling ass. He's like, oh, excuse me. One hit kill. I was here first. It's like... God damn it. <laughs> so you're probably going to see a lot more shoulder charging motherfuckers inside the uh, the old crucible there. But we still have 27 strange coins, which is going to help us out for next week. I purchased a quite a bit of shit. We got a Dragon's Breath rocket launcher. We have some new gauntlets. And we have two exotic engrams for gauntlets. And I got to poop. It's kind of funny. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and... uh dismantle these uh, exotic gauntlets. I know you're going to be like, don't you mean decode? No, I'm actually going to dismantle them. I'm going to turn these into exotic shards because I already have a pair of gauntlets and the other gauntlets for the hunter are the young Amakara spine and what? yeah, I don't really give a fuck about trip my duration! <laughs> so let's go ahead and just get some of these. We got the ruined wings and we got the... <laughs> you fucking scumbag! <laughs> Master Rahul, you are a fucking scumbag! I swear to god. Oh, shit. That's fucking hilarious. So, uh... Yeah, I, I got some ruin wings for a titan, which... I have three hunters. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> See you guys later. I can't believe I just paid Mo to Light for a fucking Sunbreaker. God damn it. Now, the only reason I, I did that was because I get to trade Motolite for exotic shards, which will help for uh, upgrading some of these new exotics that I have laying around now. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's not so bad. Actually, and my Pocket Infinity is pretty close to being uh, fully leveled up, so I'm going to need a shard for that. We got three shards, which is pretty good. So we got one weapon there. We got uh, Gallowhorn's going to need a shard. And uh, so is Dragon's Breath. And then possibly the don't touch me gauntlets. <laughs> I might, I might have to put this over and make one of my hunters a blade dancer. I'm not sure. I'm not really a big fan of the blade dancer though. So we're, we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll, I'll warm up to it a little bit by taking damage melee and just fucking going invisible and hauling ass, baby. <laughs> so that's what Jure has this week. He has an amazing inventory of brand new shit that we haven't seen before, including the Dragon's Breath rocket launcher. So those of you guys out there that say the Gallowhorn was a mistake the fucking second week that uh, Jure was here, well, this is, uh, what, the second or third week of the Dark Below DLC, and we have another exotic rocket launcher that's going to be probably a main staple of some of the uh, later on shit that we find out with this rocket launcher because I, I do know that that solar grenade allows fucking enemies to just walk away from it so if you have a bunch of people with these I'm pretty sure that you could probably just keep uh you know pushing enemies into a corner and be like hey <laughs> focus fire in the corner motherfucker but uh yeah I, I, I wouldn't want to miss out on that so if you don't have a gallowhorn hot damn go ahead and pick up that dragon's breath and if you don't have any strange coins my, my best bet to tell you is either go do a bunch of Vanguard fucking strikes, uh, open up a shit ton of boxes, that's how I get strange coins, and uh, public events. Public events usually do give strange coins inside of uh, blue engrams and shit, and uh, the public daily events that you get here. I got one earlier today from uh, 
the postmaster. I came in here and it was like, oh, look, you did the public event. You get a postmaster. I was like, oh, thank you. I went over here. Master Rahul, and he was like, aha, it's a strange coin. I'm going to give you a sunbreaker later. I'm going to punch you in the dick. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. What did I have to kill? I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. I still got to take a dump. Don't, don't let me forget that. I, I have a fucking turd poking out of my butt right now. It's almost touching cloth. <laughs> so, like I said, my name's Jay. What did I have to kill? Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later. Look at that physics, baby. We all know you guys just fucking... This is how I go upstairs. I don't know about you. Every time I, I see a set of stairs, I'm like, oh, look. <laughs> That's how I do it in real life, baby. So, like I said, my name's Jay. What did I have to kill? Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later.